Hi everyone, this is your math guru. In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the area and perimeter of the following trapeziums. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button below for more easy to understand math concepts. In the first example, we have the trapezium ABCD. I'm going to start by finding the perimeter. The perimeter of a shape is the total distance or the total length around the outside of the shape so therefore we must make sure that we have a value for all the sides you can see in this example that the value of ab or the length of ab and cd are missing so i'm going to start by finding the length of the missing side starting with my ab i'm going to draw out a rough sketch of the triangle ABE such that the distance AE has been given as 4 meters and the distance BE 3 meters. To find the hypotenuse or the slant inside AB using Pythagoras theorem, we have AB squared, the square of the longest side equals the sum of the square of the other two sides. So we have AB squared equals AE squared plus BE squared. That will give us AE squared has been given us 4 meters. So we have 4 squared plus BE squared, 3 squared. That will be 4 squared is 4 times 4, 16 plus 3 squared, 3 times 3, 9. Therefore, AB squared is equal to 16 plus 9, 25. And to find the distance AB, we're going to find the square root of both sides so that the distance AB equals 5 meters. So I'm going to put that in as 5 meters. We're going to do the same thing to find DC. So using the right angle triangle by DC, I have D, F and C. DF is the same distance as AE, that's the perpendicular height of the trapezium. We have that as 4 meters, so we have DF equals to 4 meters. FC has been given as 1 meter, so therefore, to find DC, we say DC squared equals DF squared plus FC squared. DF 4 squared plus FC 1 meter squared. That will be 4 squared, 16, 4 times 4, plus 1 squared is 1. So therefore, DC squared equals 16 plus 1, 17. Finding the square root of both sides, we have DC, or the length DC, equals square root of 17, 4.12 meters to two decimal places. So therefore, to find the perimeter, perimeter is the sum of the distance around the object, that's the length AD plus DC plus BC plus AB. We have AD to be 8 meters, DC we calculated that to be 4.12 to two decimal places. To find the distance BC, note that we have the distance BE to be 3 and the distance FC to be 1. But the distance from A to D is the same as the distance from E to F. So therefore, we have EF to be 8 meters. To find the total distance BC, that will be 3 plus 8 plus 1. And that will give us 12. So we have BC is 12 meters plus AB 5 all in meters. And if we add that together, that will be 29.12 meters. To find the area of a trapezium, the formula is half times the sum of the two parallel sides. In this case, that's 
AD plus BC times perpendicular height. We have that as half times the distance AD is 8 plus the distance BC. We calculated that by adding 3 plus 8 plus 1, and that will be 12 times the perpendicular height is giving us 4 meters. We have 2 in 2, 1, 2 in 4, 2, 8 plus 12, that's 20 times 2. Therefore, the area A equals 40 meter squared. Let's look at the next example. In the next example, we have to find the area and perimeter of the trapezium shown. And like I said earlier, the perimeter of any shape is the total distance around the outside of the shape. So we need to account for all the missing sides. In this case, we have the distance AD missing. Likewise, we have the distance CB missing. Also, if you look at the distance DC, we have the distance EF equals to the distance AB, and that will give us 12 centimeters. Now, we've been given the total distance to be 17 centimeters. We know DE to be 3, EF to be 12, 3 plus 12, that will give us 15. So therefore, the distance FC would be 2 centimeters, such that if we add a 3 plus 12 plus 2, that will give us the total distance, 17 centimeters. So back to looking for the distance AD. I'm going to draw that right angle triangle out here as a rough sketch. We have E, A, and D. We have D, E to be 3 centimeters, E, A to be 6 centimeters. Therefore, to find the distance AD, AD squares using Pythagoras theorem equals the square of the longest side or the hypotenuse equals the sum of the square of the other two sides. So we have DE squared plus AE squared. If we put in the parameters, D is 3, so we have 3 squared plus AE, 6 squared. That will be 3 times 3, 9, plus 6 times 6, 36. So therefore, AD squared equals 9 plus 36, 45. And to find AD, we'll find the square root of both sides. Therefore, AD equals square root of 45. 6.71 centimeters to two decimal places. To find the distance BC, we're going to do the same thing. Trying out a rough sketch. I have the triangle FCB. Not that. We have a right angle here. Then we know that the distance FB is the same as the distance EA, which is 6 centimeters. We have the distance FC to be 2 centimeters. Therefore, to calculate the distance BC, we have BC squared equals FC squared plus BF squared. FC squared is 2 squared plus BF squared 6 squared. And that will be 4 plus 6 times 6, 36. Therefore, BC squared equals 4 plus 36, 40. And to find BC, we're going to find the square root of both sides. Therefore, the distance BC equals square root of 40, which is 6.32 centimeters to two decimal places. Now we go ahead to find a perimeter, and that's the distance around the object. So perimeter equals the distance DC plus the distance CB plus the distance AB plus the distance AD. We have that as DC, 17 centimeters, 
plus CB, we found CB or BC to be 6.32 plus AB, 12 centimeters from the diagram, and the distance AD, we got that as 6.71, we have this as 6.32, so we have 6.71. Always make sure you are able to account for the distance of each side. Therefore, if we add that together, the perimeter Will be equal to 42.03 centimeters to find the area the formula for the area is of the sum of the two parallel sides in this case we have that as dc plus ab times the perpendicular height we have that as of DC is 17 plus AB 12 times the perpendicular height 6 centimeters 2 in 2 1 2 in 6 3 therefore 17 plus 12 29 times 3 therefore the area of this trapezium equals 29 times 3 it is 7 centimeters squared. Thanks for watching. Bye.